Canada is basically saying the same things that a lot of other people have said with regards to education reform, but the difference is that he actually went out and raised a whole bunch of money and actually made something happen rather than just talking about it all the time. Um, and he kind of overcame the obstacles that stand in front of people when trying to make education reforms and went out and did something about it and actually followed through on what other people have been saying, including himself, for years. Um, I think the best message was that you can't just keep waiting for a problem to solve itself. You have to take action because we all kind of look at these big problems and we just wait for somebody else to take action, but as we all just wait, nothing happens. So you just start small. Like he started with one block and he's now at 97 blocks and making a difference in thousands of kids' lives. Whereas um, if you just don't take action, nothing's going to happen. So One of the things that he said that I guess sticks with me is, uh, is just that you can't save everyone. Um, and so he's made a really big difference in a small section of the country uh, and you know on an even more micro scale for me being a future teacher going out into whatever community it is that I'm working in and trying to make a similar difference um, starting small and trying to make as big of a difference with a small group of people as I can. Um, I think one of the great things was never give up. He's talked about um, all these obstacles that came up. People were like, where are you going to get the money? And he's like, I don't know, but I'm going to find it. And so it's just never taking no for an answer. He also talked about how um, with, like, graduation rates, people are happy with, like, 85%, and he's only happy with 100%. And they're like, well, why aren't you happy with, you know, 85%? It's a really great one. And he's like, what about the other 15%? So it's... Don't take no for an answer. Always strive for 100% and um, don't let the obstacles stop you, I guess.